biggest opportunity of your life, and this is how you thank me. You knew the day I gave you this job what was going to happen between you and me. And now it's time to thank Daddy. Because you're nothing but a lousy secretary without me. Now come here. <laughs> Susan, what is all of this? I just thought it would be a nice idea to sit down and have breakfast together. Well, I can't. I have an early morning meeting. And besides, you shouldn't be going through all this trouble. <coughs> Matt, it's just breakfast. I'm not an invalid. Oh, yeah? Sit down. I want you to be extra careful this time. I don't want anything happening to little Matt Jr., and I especially don't want anything happening to you. So from now on, no more cooking, no more cleaning, no more nothing. I want you to just relax, watch talk shows all day, and take it easy. Good morning, this is Katrina. How may I direct your call? Let's hurry up. I need that comp my desk in 15 minutes. Talk to me, Katrina. Mr. Williams is in Miss Grace's office waiting for you. I heard some yelling. That sounds about right. He kept calling down and asking where you were. And you told him that you and I spent the night together and that I overslept and I'd be here any minute, right? Right? No, I... <laughs> Come on, Katrina, I'm only kidding. Listen, you have the list of interviews my new assistant, Diane, left for me, huh? Yes, the first one's at 9.30. 9.30, huh? Very good, Katrina. I'll tell you what, you have a future here, you know that? Now, how do I look? Right. So do you. Ah. Hello, Irene. Matt, you're late. What, are we making our own hours now, too? And a good morning to you, too, Jay. Well, what can I say? Traffic was a bitch. All right. Before we get started, I thought you might want to look at the numbers on the Taste Like Home account. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, Jay, did you get a chance to see these? You're good with bacon. So what? Sausage, Jay. Sausage. And according to these numbers, the fastest selling breakfast sausage in all of Southern California. Come on, boys. Will you stop it? Look, I want to see the concepts for the photo shoot tomorrow. <laughs> what shoot? Jay. I gave the material to Diane before she left. When? On Friday. And when did she leave? Thursday. Well, it must have been Thursday then. She was here. I gave it to her. I put it on her desk. Go and get the client file for Matt. Now. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to come up with something really fast because the shoot is tomorrow. For what? Indigo jeans. That's Jay's campaign. Well, it was, but they haven't accepted any of his concepts. The owner is Armand Christopoulos, and he is a piece of I, I'm really sorry to do this to you, but I'm relying on you. If I lose this account, then uh, Deacon is going to go on a firing spree for sure. Well, nothing like a little pressure, right? Good morning, Matt. Hey, Teddy. Can you give this to Irene, by the way? Thanks, Juliet. Kyoko. Jay was supposed to pull me the file on the Indigo campaign? Yeah, you know, Matt, it's my fault the file wasn't on Diane's desk. Uh, Jay got it down, but I... 
Hey, jerk off, you ever fuck with my livelihood like that again, I'm gonna rip your head off and shove it up your ass. Have a nice day. I really want to see you in office. Now, did you tell her it was your fault? Yeah, I don't think she believed me. Did you say it the way I told you? Yes, she still didn't believe me. Shit. <clears throat> that was a really stupid thing to do. We can't afford to lose this account. We can't afford to lose any account, especially now. Deacon is really unhappy with your performance. I don't know how long I can protect your job. Stop worrying about Deacon. I'm getting it done. We're almost there, Irene. Are you ready for the first contestant? Let the games begin. I mostly wear perception, but I have lots of other skills. You know, um, you're much younger than I thought you would be. Then I retired for 10 years, and when the old man died, I thought, what the hell? There's such junk on TV all day. I thought I'd better get out there and get back to work. Well, my probation officer said that I should be in touch with my creative side. Plus, I learned how to type when I was in a joint. So I figured, fuck it, I'll give it a shot. You got an extra cigarette? Katrina, I can't take any more of these. There's just one more left. Come on in. Nicole Lorette, this is Matt Taylor. How do you do? Hello. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Please, have a seat. a pretty impressive background degree from columbia university and i see you have experience as an executive assistant in several firms the last one being uh the cb agency in atlanta oh they're a really small firm you've probably never heard of them well it says here that you worked for them for four years but yet you don't have any references why is that i was fired oh. that's uh pretty candid of you may i ask why it's politics typical male boss female assistant scenario I was never credited for the work I did. Is that it? Well, there was. He, uh. You were sexually harassed? Did you press charges? No. I'm sorry, I wasted your time. No, no, no. Please, Nicole, stay. That must have been a terrible thing to go through. Believe me, I didn't mean to bring up any bad memories. Look, why don't you show me some examples of your work, okay? <laughs> this is very good. Did you do these? My boss and I. Well, Nicole, you are without a doubt the best candidate I've seen for the job so far. So if uh, you're ready to take on the responsibilities here, I'm ready to have you. Can you start today? <laughs> yes. Kyoko. Sure. Yes, who she wants. Could you fax some documents for me? Yes. You shred the hard copies? Mm -hmm, yes. Katrina, Nicole is my new assistant. I'll have her fill out the necessary paperwork and then show her around the desk. Who is she? I don't know. Find out. By the way, I've decided we're taking some work home with us tonight. 
Be at my place at 9 o'clock. Mr. Williams, I really don't think that's a good idea. I thought you wanted to be a real ad executive someday. Yeah. Yes, I do. So? Be there. Matt Taylor's office. May I speak to Matt, please? Matt's busy. Can I take a message? Who is this? This is Nicole, Mr. Taylor's assistant. Well, Nicole, this is Mrs. Taylor, and I would like to speak to my husband, please. Mrs. Taylor, I'm sorry. I just started, and he didn't mention that he was married. Hold on one moment. Your wife is on the phone. Oh, shit, I forgot to call her. Look, Nicole, I'm gonna be here for a while. It's been a long first day for you. So why don't you go home and get some rest, huh? Sorry, you're stuck with me. I'm never leaving you. As long as you're here, I'm here. Thank you. And since we're both here, maybe we should think about getting some food. I already took care of it. It just arrived. I'll go get it. Hi, honey. Why doesn't she know that you're married? What are you talking about? Well, she sounded surprised when she heard I was on the phone. Oh, look, Susan, I don't have time for this. I just hired the girl. Well, at least you could have mentioned it. Susan, just dumped a giant campaign onto my lap. I'm going nuts over here. I've got to come up with a concept for a photo shoot tomorrow morning. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I... It's just, you know, you hadn't called, and... I was waiting for you to have dinner. All right, look, you go ahead and eat without me. I told you, I'm going to be here for a while. In fact, Nicole is preparing a nice plate of Chinese food for me while we speak. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. OK. I've got Nico Santos on hold on the other line. Uh, honey, I've got the photographer on the other line. I got it. I'll, I'll talk to her, you know. OK. Hey, Nico. We all set for the photo shoot tomorrow? This is really good stuff. You know, Kyoko, there's a lot going on with the company right now that not too many people know about. There's going to be some big changes, and I'm going to be moving up in a major way. I'd like to tell you more about it, but I need to make sure that you're on my team. A girl can go far being on my team. I really need this job, Mr. Williams. I know you do. So are you on my team? Take your clothes off. what she wanted? Come 
Come on, smile. You just made the most important business decision of your life. Please let it work this time. Please let it work. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. It's late. Oh, I know. I'm exhausted. I had a lot of work to do today. And tomorrow I gotta get up real early. What's the campaign? It's indigo jeans. Mm, I get this one, baby. We're on our way. Master plan will be falling right into place. I'm trying to do my part. Mm, I know. I know. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Good night, sweetheart. I love you. I love you. So, who's the new assistant? Nicole Lorette. He's got good stats. He's straight, dependable. Just the way you like him. I hope she works out. Come on, ladies. Give me something to work with here. More. Give me what you got. Give me what you got. Come on, bring it up. Bring it up. Work for me. Work the camera. Work it. Come on, ladies. Lots of energy. I'm not seeing anything different from what Jay showed me last time. And frankly, I was bored. I hated it. No, no, no. This is not happening. Get changed. So I want you to keep things moving along. Make sure Nico shoots only the concepts I've laid out and don't take any shit from him. This is very important. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look, just keep the little egomaniac under control. I don't want him to do anything other than what I've designed. This is very important. I'm counting on you. You can always count on me. Okay. Here we go. Come on, ladies. Smile. Let me see some smiles. This sucks! You stop. Right what? I said stop. Excuse me, baby. I'm busy. Do you mind? I'm not your baby. And yes, I do mind. Who the hell are you? I'm your boss right now, and I'm changing the setup. What's your name? Bianca. Bianca. You stay. The rest of you are wrapped. Oh, wait a second. Matt didn't tell me to wrap anyone. I just did. Go! Go! Okay, big shot. What next?
what the hell is going on here? What are you doing? It was going great. What am I doing? What the hell are you doing, Nico? What happened to the rest of the models? What the hell happened to my setup? Who the hell do you think you are, Nico? Hey, it wasn't my idea, right? But you know what? I wish it was, because it's good. It's really good. Why don't you talk to your girlfriend here? Nicole, what did you do? I left you in charge with explicit instruction. We got everything that you wanted. We were finished, so I thought... You thought? Yes. I, I thought that it wouldn't hurt to keep on shooting until you came back. I thought that we would try something different, push the envelope a little. Nicole, it's not your job to make decisions. You're my assistant. You do what I tell you to do. If you listen to me, you'll learn something. But don't ever pull anything like this again. Nico, that's it. We're done. The shoot's over. Put some clothes on. You're wrong, Matt. She was just trying to make things happen. Where do you see these shots? I'll just have the proofs in my office by tomorrow morning. Nicole, I know you were trying to help, but you just... Never mind. I'll see you in the office tomorrow. I want to see those proofs first thing when I come in. To hell with you. You did good. Hey, Matt. Hey, Teddy, how you doing? How things go at the shoot? I don't know yet. Ah, uh, well, good luck on the campaign, all right? Thanks. Katrina, where's Nicole? She's... she's up in Irene's office. What's she doing up there? I don't know. Maybe you should go look for yourself. Put this in my office, all right? So happy. Oh, this is great. Good morning. Matt, you're late again, but I will forgive you because these are fantastic. It's exactly what I was talking about. Take a look. Go on, go on, look. Aren't they great? I want some concepts for the ad campaign immediately. Well, what about the group shop? No, just her. She is Indigo Jeans. Hello, everybody. Hi, Charles. Hello, Mr. Deacon. Hello, Taylor. I've been hearing nice things about you lately. <laughs> Who is this lovely lady? This is Nicole Lorette, my assistant. Nicole, this is Mr. Deacon, chairman of the board. Oh, very nice to meet you, Mr. Deacon. It's nice to meet you. All right, where were we? What do we have here? These are the proofs from the Indigo shoot that Matt oversaw yesterday. The way Jay failed so miserably, I hope you got something here. <laughs> we're, uh, we're a little risky here, aren't we? This is our last chance to land this account. Come on, Charles, look at them. They're great. All right, maybe it's time to be a little daring and shake our mind up a bit. That's nice work, Taylor. All right, I think we're gonna go with this. Mr. J wants you to take all these clients' files and put them together on the back. What the hell are you doing showing Irene those proofs before I check them? She saw when they were delivered and she asked me to bring them up. You should have said that I would bring them up after I took a look at them. I did, but she wouldn't take no for an answer. What was I supposed to do? You're supposed to do what I tell you to do, huh? I told you I wanted to see them before anybody else. You don't work for Irene, you work for me. You've made that perfectly clear, Mr. Taylor. I'm Mr. sorry you didn't get to see the prints first. It's my fault. But it seems to me that you're a little bit more upset about the fact that they liked my layout. When you hired me, you said that you were fair. That you'd give credit where credit was due. Well, I don't even want any credit on this, all right? Because all I did was something that you would have done. You didn't see it because you were rushed. You were under a lot of pressure. You had to smooth over the client. All I did was follow your lead. And we stumbled onto something good. And I think that you should take the ball and run with it instead of being upset that your assistant, a woman, came up with a better idea. I want to learn from you, assist you, and grow in this company with you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the way this happened. We just met, and the last thing I want to do is ruin my relationship with you. I apologize, and I promise. I'll be a good girl and just do what I'm told from now on.
This feels European. No. You know, I think a very basic American look to the typeset would offset these photos in a real kinetic way. You're right. I didn't think about that. My photo, your copy. We make a good team, don't we? It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Eddie. Armand, I think we have something for you this time. I hope so, Charles. I hope so. <laughs> Here we go. Wish me luck. Oh. You don't need it, Matt. The work is solid. Ah, here he is, Taylor. Uh, yes, Mr. Taylor. I'm Nicole. Hi, I'm Kyoko. Hello. We haven't met either, Nicole. Hi. I'm Jay Williams. I'm glad to have you as part of my team. You mean Matt's team? Well, we're all one big happy family here, Nicole. Hmm? Nice to meet you. Get me her employee file. But that's in Matt's office. I can't go in there. Just do it. Here it is. This isn't what I asked for. Yes, it is. It's a list of every client that we have. These are business numbers. I asked for personal home phone numbers. Well, I can't get you that. Only Irene has that information. Katrina, do you want to be a receptionist all your life? No. Then get me what I want. <gasps> oh, my God. office. Nicole, I need to speak to Matt right now. Matt's in a meeting right now. Well, you get him out of that meeting. I need to shut this goddamn smoke detector off. Oh, shit. Can you get to the smoke detector? I'm right here right now. I just need to shut it off. If I don't fall off this stupid stepladder. Just calm down. Now, very carefully reach up. There's usually a little switch right on the side of it. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Thank you, Nicole. I can have Matt call you as soon as he gets out of this meeting. No, 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 no. He worries about me enough as it is. I don't want him to think I'm completely helpless. I'm just gonna clean this mess up and make believe it never happened. So, don't tell him, okay? It'll be our little secret. You know, Nicole, I think we got off on the wrong foot the first time we spoke. I think it's important that you and I get to know each other, become friends. After all, you are the other woman in my husband's life. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But thank you, Susan. I'd like to get to know you, too. Well? You better shut the door. Well, we got it. We got the campaign. We're going national with magazines, billboards, commercials. And get this, we start the commercial campaign immediately. Oh, Matt. <laughs> oh, Matt, congratulations. We deserve it. 
Hey, hey, you deserve it. Don't think for a minute. I don't realize that this wouldn't have happened without you. That might be the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Yeah, look, you get me Bianca's agent on the phone. I want Bianca in this office immediately. And you know why? Because we are on our way, Nicole. We are on our way! <laughs> so it's a simple way out, that love story, the dog talks. I think it's kind of cute. I, I think this is a very poor effort, Jay. How many times are we going to see a dog talking about his flea coat? Now, wait a minute. It's not that the dog's talking. It's what he's saying. Fix it, Jay. Fix it. But Charles. I told you he wants your head on a platter. Fuck him. You know, Matt's the golden boy around here now, and, and Deacon basically thinks that you Pretty soon it won't matter what Deacon thinks. Well, then get it done! What are you looking at? Yoko? Find out who handles that model. I've got it, Gina. Bianca. Oh. Mm. Nice to see you. You too. Christmas card. So the long and the short of it is, you are in the go. This is going to be the biggest campaign we've ever launched. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Please, call me Matt. And you don't need to thank me. All you have to do is stay as gorgeous and as photogenic as you are, and everything is going to be just fine. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about any more ideas you might have for the campaign. Sure. Call me at home anytime. Any time at all. All right. Uh, I'll see you later. You got it. Thank you, Nicole. She's very excited. Mm -hmm. She should be. Yes. Well, it's been a long day, but a great one. And I say it's time to go out and celebrate. <laughs> Great. Is everything else okay? Very, very good. Thank you. Great. Mm, a second bottle? Why not? We deserve it. For you, Nicole, my assistant, and my partner. <laughs> well, thank you, but I'm a long way from being your partner. I don't know about that. You're much too talented for me to keep as an assistant for very long. I've got to take advantage of you while I can. <laughs> I've got something for you. Just uh, a little way of saying thank you. I figure since we're uh, both climbing the corporate ladder together. Partners. I don't know what to say. It's just a little paperweight for the office. I have another surprise. Irene gave me a bonus today. $20,000. And I want to give you half. <laughs> no, Matt, that is too generous. I couldn't possibly. Of course you could. Because I want to give it to you. And besides, I've already written the check. I've got it right here. What the hell did I do with it? Oh, shit. I left it back at the office. All right, come on. Let's go back and get it. Oh, no, Matt, we don't have to. Of course we do. That's a lot of money. I don't want to leave a check like that lying around. I want to give it to you tonight. Ta-da. All for you, partner. <laughs> Thanks.
the others, are you? You're different. I hope you don't mind the good stuff. Here's to you. Congratulations on your campaign. I didn't realize you had that much to do with it. I thought Matt was in charge. Well, Taylor's actually very low on the totem pole. If you want to move up in the world, you have to come upstairs in my office. You know, uh, Indigo's just the tip of what I can offer you, Bianca. Do you want to see the pool? You know, Bianca, there's a lot going on with the company right now that not too many people know about. There's going to be some big changes, and I'm going to be moving up in a major way. I'd like to tell you more about it, only I need to make sure that you're on my team. A girl can go far being on my team. Oh, yeah? put me on your team? Are you kidding me? You're gonna be my star player. Well, come on, get it in here. My God, you are magnificent. Just think, Jay. We start with Indigo, then you and I become superstars. <laughs> I can't wait. As soon as Indigo is over, I'm all yours. I don't think you understand, Bianca. 
You're done with indigo. Morning, honey. Got a rush. I'm running late. What time did you get home last night? I waited for you as long as I could. I'm sorry. But we were out celebrating last night. I got the indigo campaign. <laughs> you did? Oh, baby, I'm so proud of you. This is wonderful. <laughs> yeah, this is going to mean a lot of money for us. And I got a, I got a $10,000 bonus. And I start on the commercial campaign right away. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, baby, why didn't you call me? I would have loved to celebrate it with you. I know. But things have been so crazy at the office lately, honey. And then, uh, well, you know, I've been breaking my ass, working hard, trying to, trying to make things happen for us. I was going to call you. But then it got so busy, and, uh, you know, I guess I got overwhelmed by the news, so we all went out for a drink to celebrate. Who went? Mm, everybody. Who's Bianca? She's the model for the campaign, why? What's her number doing in your pocket? What? Oh, she came into the office and she was so excited about getting the campaign that she put that in my pocket while she was thanking me, in case I needed to get a hold of her for anything. Isn't that what her agent's for? Oh, come on, Susan. It's written in lipstick, Matt. Because that's what she used to write it with. What do you want from me? What are you being so defensive for? I'm not being defensive. Did you go out celebrating with her? No, she wasn't out celebrating with me. So, you're not having an affair with Bianca? No, I'm not having an affair with Bianca. Lucky for you, I trust you. Hi. Good morning. about last night. Hmm. What about it? Well, it's just that I've never, um... We have a lot of work to do, and we're gonna have to be working very closely. So I think it's best that we, um... And what I mean is we can't... Don't worry about a thing. Business as usual. And by the way, it was wonderful. You were wonderful. Matt Taylor's office. Uh, may I speak to Mr. Taylor, please? Tell him it's Bianca. Bianca, it's Nicole. Matt's busy. How can I help you? I've got... I've got bad news. I'm gonna have to drop in to go. Excuse me? Say that again. I'm sorry, Nicole, but I have to. You're not dropping anything. Who put you up to this? My agent. They objected to the nudity. I just spoke to your agent. And she is, in fact, overjoyed with the response she's getting on you. She is overjoyed with the national commercials we're going to begin shooting this week. She is overjoyed with the shitload of money you both are going to make on this campaign. I don't think she would object if we stapled the Indigo logo to your pretty little ass. I don't know what 
this is all about Bianca, but so help me. If you are not on that set bright and early and ready to shoot our commercial, I will not only raise hell with your agent, sue you for breach of contract, and badmouth you to the rest of the industry, I will personally rip your heart right out of your chest. You do not want to fuck with me, do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Good. Then I will see you on the set. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks so much for coming. My office is upstairs right this way. Where are you going? There's a page missing from the proposal. Oh, get it copied and get it upstairs right away. Kyoko, are you all right? I just can't take it anymore. You don't know how he treats me. I have a feeling I do. So, who are the suits? Jay courting some new clients? No, they have something to do with the agency stockholders, I think. He's got me doing so many things that have nothing to do with advertising. I just got confused. He's always yelling at me. And then he makes me... Makes you what? No man has the right to treat you like that. No man. I shouldn't be telling you this. No, no, it's all right, really. Sometimes you need a friend. Sometimes you need someone that... Well, you can just tell them everything. Hi. I dreamed about you last night. Really? Have you thought about me? Yeah. Every time I look at my wife. <laughs> this can work, Matt. You can have the best of both worlds. I'm not asking for much. Can't you find room in your heart for both of us? Nicole. Hey, Nico! How's it going? Bring me down! How's it going? We got a major fucking problem. That's how it's going. You, take a walk. Go on. Show them. No, oh, Jesus. How am I supposed to shoot that? Huh? How the hell am I supposed to shoot that? Bianca, what happened? I accidentally banged it when I was opening a door. Oh, shit. We're screwed. Irene's gonna be here with Armand and Deacon any minute. Did you try makeup? I tried that before you got here. She looks like shit. There's no way I'm shooting her looking like that. Hey, look, we gotta figure out a way to shoot around this, all right? You and I will take a look at the storyboards. Nicole, you stay here with Bianca. When makeup gets back here, see what you can do with that eye. Oh. Models. I hate this shitty business. Hey, you! Go get the fucking walk, please! How did you really get that eye? I told you. Don't you lie to me. First you called trying to get out of the shoot, and now this. I want to know what the hell is going on. I can't. I can't tell you. I am so afraid. Afraid of what? Bianca, you have exactly one second to tell me what this is about. It was Jay. It was Jay. He told me that if I dropped this campaign, he'd sign me to an even bigger contract with Davina Cosmetics. 
I didn't know what to do. And then he just... <laughs> You are not going to tell anyone else what happened. And you are going to continue the campaign as planned. What about Jay? What if he... You let me worry about Jay. Matt, I can't shoot her like that. You want to give me a break here, please? Stop looking over my shoulder. I figured out a way to work around that eye. <laughs> So that means we're on for the location shoot. We're on. All right. Wonderful work, Taylor. Let's talk about the details. Uh, Nicole, would you excuse us, please? How exactly are we going to? Well, first of all, we have to talk about video. If, the, if we do the outside lights location, then it gets the Yes, if we would just show. Um, this was just actually around the, around the area. Yeah, yeah but we, we don't have want to, to use this. Much more. I'm sorry. Good work, Nico. How are you started? I know. Susan, oh, I got some great news. What is this? I thought I told you I didn't want you to go to any trouble. I didn't. I did. Isn't it beautiful, honey? Nicole did everything. Are you surprised? Mmm. <laughs> This is delicious, Nicole. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it good, honey? Yeah, it's great. So, Susan, how did you and Matt meet? It isn't such an original story. We met at work. I was Matt's assistant. Really? <laughs> yep. We fell in love, got married, and then we started on what Matt calls the master plan. <laughs> What's that? Well, Matt's part is moving up at work, a better house, some money in the bank. And my part is, well, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Congratulations. Matt, you didn't tell me. Mm. Well, we're keeping it kind of private. This is our second try. We had some problems with the first. Oh, I'm so sorry. Nothing's gonna go wrong this time. Right, honey? All right. <laughs> thank you so much, Nicole. It was wonderful. Oh, no, thank you for welcoming me into your beautiful home. <laughs> honey, why don't you walk her out? Bye-bye. So, Daddy, did you have a nice time? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me she was pregnant? Because it's none of your damn business. She's a very lucky girl. Most women would kill to have what she has. Successful, loving husband. Nice house in the suburbs, baby on the way. Come on. The mistress is a perfect addition to the 
master plan. She's your wife and partner at home, and I'm your lover and partner at work. All right, that's enough. That's enough. You can pretend. But I know you want me as much as I want you. You can't hide it. I see the way you look at me. Nicole. It's late. Get in the car. Go on home. We have a lot of work to do on this location shoot. And uh, I don't want any distractions. And when it's over, you and I are going to have a nice long talk, OK? Whatever you say, boss. Whatever you say. What was this all about? I thought it would be a good way for Nicole and I to get to know each other. Yeah, but do you, do you have to tell people our whole life story? She's just not people. She's your assistant, like Diane. <laughs> no, Nicole was not like Diane. Okay, I'll keep my mouth shut for now. Look, I'm tired. Let's go to sleep, all right? Honey, I wanted to make love to you tonight. What? Oh, come on, Susan. What are you, crazy? It's okay, honey. The doctor said it's okay. You know, we can make love for months. Well, I don't care what the doctor said. I'm not taking a chance of uh, getting you hurt. This is ridiculous. So I'm ridiculous. Is Bianca going away on the shoot with you? Hmm? Yeah, Bianca's going away on the shoot with me. What is that supposed to mean? You haven't touched me in weeks. I know how you are, Matt. You need a woman. You don't want to make love to me. How the hell do you think that makes me feel? Sometimes I just think I'm a baby machine to you. That is an ugly thing to say. So I'm going to pretend like you never said it, all right? Now, I'm going to bed. And I'm leaving early in the morning. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Well, if it isn't Wonder Woman. You saved Taylor's untalented ass again? I know. I talked with Nico Santos. First the print shoot, then the commercial. Nice work. I don't know what Taylor would do without you. I know about Bianca. That's assault. You keep your dirty little hands off her. She's mine, not yours. Yours? You're just a little assistant. Taylor made that perfectly clear to Irene and Deacon at the meeting. He's taking all the credit. I know what you're trying to do, Jay. Your line of bullshit may work on women like Bianca and Kyoko, but it's not going to work on me. I let an employer take advantage of me once. Once. And then I fixed it. I'm good at fixing things. So I've heard, Miss Lorette. Or should I say, Miss Landon. Miss Nicole Landon, correct? You know, for someone with such an eye for detail, I'm surprised you're not better at covering up your tracks. You didn't know they were running this, did you? Yeah, you should call up CNB in Atlanta and Look into getting your share of the bonus money. But then again, you know you can't do that, can you? You can't do that because CNB in Atlanta didn't do this ad. This ad was created by Colby and Burnham in Chicago. Maybe you should call them. But we both know that you can't do that either. What do you want? You, Nicole. I want you. You're my kind of girl. But first, you're gonna help me get rid of Taylor. I wanna ruin that son of a bitch. Now, this little trip you two are going on, the boss alone with his assistant at the hotel, you know the rest, and I want it messy. Once he's gone, you come work for me. I've got your number, sweetheart. I know everything about you. I could ruin you too, but that would be a waste. Now, you're a smart girl. Yeah. You just keep it live. You do as you're told, and we'll get along just fine.
to take care of Taylor, Nicole. And as soon as you get back, I want to take care of you. Nicole, let me see the storyboard. Yeah. Nicole! That was great. That was wonderful. Oh, thanks. Are you okay? Just a little cold. Oh, here, put this on. There you go. Is that better? It's great. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. I'll see you later. Okay. Come on, move that line. I want to get going again. Let's go, right away! Going good, don't you think? Yeah. We're running a little bit behind, but it's going pretty good. I have something for you. I made it up at the agency. It's gonna happen for you, Matt. I just know it. Visualize, and it will happen. Why did you do this? I wanted you to know how much I believed in you. Believed in me? I meant believe in you. I want you to know how much I believe in you. Thanks. Come on, people. Get it up all day. Where's Bianca? Get her in the pool. Let's get this shot today, please, people. Is anyone listening here? please okay I guess you're gone to sleep already I'll be home tomorrow <laughs> gotta see this place they put me up in it's almost as big as our house I guess they're really happy with my work moving up honey wish you were here I miss you I love you bye Drunk, are we? Maybe. Can I come in? I don't think that would be a good idea. I do. Ooh, nice place. Bianca, it's really late. Why don't you like me? <laughs> You're not like everybody else, just trying to get my pants. Nico, that pig, he's just dying to get me in the sack. And there's Jay. What about Jay? Oh, it doesn't matter. Why don't you like me? Bianca, I like you. 
It's just that I already have a woman in my life. Nicole? No, it's not Nicole. It's my wife. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. It's okay for you to come on to me when I'm with my wife? But it's not okay if I'm having an affair with Nicole? You don't know Nicole. She scares me. Yeah? Whoa, whoa. Oh. Hang on, hang on. I got I'm you. a little busy. <sighs> Look, I'm going to take you back to your room, all right? Come on. Here we go. Okay, now it's time for you to go to bed. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> this isn't so bad, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Good mom, I just want to kiss you. Just a little kiss, that's all. Why don't I believe you? Matt? I didn't want to do this, but you're forcing me to use drastic measures. Now, that's not fair. Stop. Stop. Why are you doing this to me? I told you, you're a nice guy. There's not a lot of nice guys like you around. You're a beautiful woman. I'm sure you can get any man you want. Well, all the guys I meet in this business, they're all the same. They want a trophy, and the first chance they get to trade it in, they do it. They're users. All of them. Maybe you're just focusing on the wrong men. The nicest guy in the world could be standing right in front of you. And you probably wouldn't even see him. Well, I thought I was seeing him right now. Well, I wouldn't be such a nice guy anymore if I was cheating on my wife, now would I? Matt, why did you have to go and say a thing like that? Just took all the fun out of it. Now I feel guilty. I mean, why can't I find a guy like you? You're handsome, you're successful, you're faithful. I hope your wife realizes how lucky she is.
Nico called. He said that the dailies from the shoot will be ready on video for you late this afternoon. Are you worried about Susan? Don't, Matt. What's going on between us doesn't mean that you don't love your wife. It just means that you love both of us. She won't find out if that's what you're thinking. I mean, as long as we're partners, our secret is safe. We're still partners, right? I hope so. Because I sure do love working with you. In every way. John, look, you can't tell anything looking like that. Garrett, take him out for a test drive. Take him around the block. And look, if you buy two, I'm going to give you a nice senior citizen discount, okay? Go ahead. Enjoy yourselves. Somebody sell something. Okay. What are you ripping off senior citizens now? Look who it is. Hey. How the hell are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Frankie? Good. Listen, you got a minute? I need to talk. I miss you, buddy. I miss you too, Frankie. Sorry I haven't called you for a while. It's just been so crazy at yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, I know. After the divorce, Tracy turned all my friends against me. Oh, come on. Not the friends, just the wives. And even worse, I'm branded. I, I cheat on my wife, and it's like I'm banished from everyone's lives. The wives don't want me around, so the guy's got no choice. Can't have me over for barbecues. I'm not allowed to come over for the holidays. I'm like a man without a country. So what's up with you? I fucked up, Frankie. Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me. You? Yeah, and I can't take it anymore. I want to end it, tell Susan the truth, and start over. Oh, are you nuts? You're not going to tell her anything. I have to. Man, I feel so guilty. I don't want to hurt her anymore. Well, you're going to hurt her a lot more if you tell her. Listen to me. I was cheating on Tracy on and off almost the whole marriage. I knew I was a piece of shit, but I figured, you know, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. And it wasn't like I didn't love her. I was crazy about her. But you know how it is. Guy can go out, he can get laid. It doesn't mean anything. Doesn't change how he feels about his wife. It's something women will never understand. So anyway, one day I come home. She's in the kitchen cooking. She looks at me and smiles. I feel all this guilt. I say to myself, how can I do this to this woman? This woman that raises my kids, loves me, trusts me. That's my point, don't you see? That's why I want to end it and tell her. This way we won't be living a lie. I mean, if I tell Susan the truth, she'll respect that. I mean, if she really loves me, she'll forgive me, right? Uh -huh. That's what I thought. I even went to one of those counselors and told me, well, you know, you can never go wrong with the truth. So I told her. I told her everything. I felt like this huge weight had been lifted off my back. I felt great. I felt cleansed. But you know what? I took all the pain I had and I dumped it on her. She was destroyed. She was destroyed. She didn't respect me for telling the truth. She hated me. And she was brokenhearted. But what happens if she finds out eventually? I mean, you know, what happens if somehow, some way, you know, years from now, she finds out? That's why I want to tell her the truth now. So this way, I don't have this damn thing hanging over my head my whole life, worrying that one day she'll find out, and then it'll be too late to fix it. Oh, that's just tough. That's the penance you got to pay for breaking your vows. That's what I should have done. Live with the fear, live with the guilt, and just make sure it never happened again. I mean, this girl was innocent. She didn't do anything wrong. Why should she have to go through all the pain? I should have kept my mouth shut, lied to her. Then she never would have gotten hurt, and I'd still be with my family today. So, so who's the girl? <laughs> my assistant. Oh, 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 Christ, fire her. Get rid of the bitch. I mean, it's, it's her or Susan. You want to save your marriage with her? You got to treat this girl like she's a cancer, a cancer that's invading your family, and you got to kill it before it kills you. We need to talk. Come on in. Susan called. She was worried. We both were. You didn't come back to the office all afternoon. It's over, Nicole. You and I are over. <laughs> Matt, you don't know what you're saying. This is not a discussion. All I want to know is if we're still going to be able to work together. Matt, why are you... Look, 
There's talk of a promotion for me. And if that happens, uh, I'm going to recommend that you take my spot. You're very talented and you deserve it. And if we act like adults here, I'm sure that we can put our little affair behind us and uh, still work together. Affair? This isn't an affair. This is the beginning of a life together. I love you, Matt. I've never felt that for a man before. I want to make you happy. Why can't I make you happy? Why can't I have what Susan has? She doesn't understand you. She doesn't know how to push your creative buttons like I do. She doesn't know how to touch you. Not like I do. What's wrong with me? I can give you everything you want. I can be your creative equal at work, and I can be your whore in bed. That's what you want, isn't it? Isn't that what every man wants? You are a twisted little girl. I want to have your baby, Matt. I want to share my life with you. We're partners. Don't you see that? We're partners, Matt. And, and no one can ever, ever break us apart. I already have a partner, Nicole. My wife. Susan is my partner. I've only got room in my life for one woman. Oh, yeah. What about when you were inside me? Were you thinking about her then? No. You weren't thinking about her or me. You were just thinking about yourself. You're just another weak, selfish man who thinks with his dick. I don't have to listen to this. You son of a bitch. I made you. If it wasn't for me... I gave you half of my bonus money. I've been more than fair. You used my ideas and then you fucked me. What do you think, I'm stupid? Think you can just suck all the creativity out of me? Fuck me like I'm some whore and then toss me away like I'm a piece of garbage. Look, I came here to try to talk this out with you. I thought that maybe we could reach some kind of an understanding where we could still work together. But obviously, we can't. I gave all of myself to you. I trusted you. I thought you were different. But you're not. You're just a user like all the rest. Let go of me. I will not leave that agency. You're sick, you know that? You need fucking help. I want you to clear your desk out before I get in there tomorrow morning, all right? You bastard! Fuck you! <laughs> you bastard!
stay here. Yeah, I'll be right back. Nothing but the best, Nicole. No, thanks. Well, come on, aren't you gonna have one drink? I don't want to dull my senses. I really want to be alert for this. You know, I knew you'd see things my way. Nice pool. You know, Nicole, there's a lot of things going on at the company that not too many people know about. There's going to be some big changes, and I'm going to be moving up in a major way. I'd like to tell you more about it, but I need to make sure that you're on my team. A girl could go far being on my team. Take off your clothes. How about you? Do you want another hit? Sure. yourself a good lawyer. Irene. Talk to me, Katrina. What's going on here? Jay has been murdered. What? What happened? I don't know. 
The police told us all the way down here. They're upstairs asking questions. Where's Nicole? I don't know. Matt, I have to talk to you. Not now, Kyoko. I'll tell you, it's very upsetting. Oh, there's a chill down. What is this, Mr. Deacon? This is him. You, Matt Taylor? That's right. I'm Detective Ryan. This is Detective Maiolo. Do you mind if we talk to you for a minute? So what is this about? Your co-worker, Jay Williams, was murdered last night. A business card with your name on it was found on the floor of his house. Where were you last night, Mr. Taylor? Oh, wait a minute. Are you accusing me? We're just asking you a couple of questions. Just having a conversation here. Am I under arrest? If you were under arrest, I would have read you your rights. Now, if you'd like, I can take you downtown and you can call yourself a lawyer. It's up to you. I was home last night with my wife. Yeah, well, one of your business cards was found at Jay Williams' house last night. So what? So he had one of my business cards. Yeah, but this one said you were the president of the company. My assistant made up those cards. Yeah, uh, she said you told her to make them up. She said you were with her last night. She said that uh, you were in a jealous rage and that you fired her. What? All right, wait a minute. Did you talk to her? I did, this morning. She told me everything, Taylor. She gave me these. She told me what you and Irene and Jay were planning. Me, Irene, and Jay? What the hell are you talking about? The three of you were in collusion to merge with another agency and engage in a hostile takeover of this company. You were close to convincing the stockholders to vote for merger and push me out. But you and Jay had a, an argument over what position you would hold after this merger went through. This is a fairy tale. I mean, you can't possibly believe this. Ask Irene. She'll tell you that I... Irene has just been fired. Her lawyer has advised her to say nothing. I am filing a lawsuit against her shortly. With Jay dead, it's only your word against Nicole. Yeah? Well, this is bullshit. Nicole also said that you threatened her job if she didn't have sex with you. I'm encouraging her, of course, to file for sexual harassment charges against you. All right, where is she? Get her in here. She fears for her life, Taylor. She's afraid you'll kill her, too. <laughs> That's insane! She's nuts! She told Deacon that you stole her work, and then you went there last night to fire her. I talked to Nico Santos. He agrees with everything she said. You stole her ideas. Did you have an affair with her, Mr. Taylor? Wait a minute. She spoke to Deacon? Have you two actually spoken with her yet? Not yet, but we will. Then this is all secondhand bullshit. You have no evidence. A business card on the floor? So what? I didn't kill anybody. Nicole is lying. And as soon as you talk to her, you'll realize that I'm telling the truth. My wife will tell you I was with her last night. Matt, the hospital just called it. Susan. Dr. Friedman, dial 118, please. Dr. Adam Friedman, dial 118. I'm looking for Susan Taylor. Is my wife in there? I'm sorry, sir. Who are you? I'm Matt Taylor. They said this was my wife's room. I'm here again to have to speak with the doctor. Are you Mr. Taylor? Yes. I'm Dr. Curry. How is she? Oh, she's had a severe head injury. She's unconscious. And the baby? Well, I can't tell yet. But we'll do what we can. Can I see her? Not just yet. I'm sorry, Mr. Taylor. You'll have to wait. Look, Mr. Taylor, we're sorry about your wife. We're just doing our job. If you want to arrest me, arrest me. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit right here and I'm not moving until I see her. We got nothing to hold him on. Look, Mr. Taylor, just make sure you stay in the area in case we have to reach you, okay? Does it look like I'm going anywhere? You can reach us at this number anytime. Hope your wife's okay. Matt? Matt? Yoko, what are you doing here? Uh, I 
need to talk to you, Matt. How's Susan? I don't know yet. Look, I wanted to tell you from the beginning. Jay was looking for any way to get you out of the agency. When you hired Nicole, he had me check her background, hoping to find something he could use to blackmail her into hurting you. I only got so far that he took over, but I know he found something. He was downloading some files from some newspaper in Chicago. Chicago? Yeah, Chicago. Not Atlanta? No, Chicago. I'm, I'm sure it was Chicago. Do you have a copy of the file? No, it's in his computer. But I, I think he made a hard copy and kept it in the office. But the thing is, the police locked it up today and I couldn't get in. I gotta see that file. All right. I want you to call Detective Ryan or Maiolo at this number and tell them to meet me at the agency. The number on the back of this card is my pager. Stay here and wait for me. If anything happens with my wife, page me right away. Thanks, Kyoko. Jesus. This is Joan. What city, please? Uh, Chicago. Uh, Woodward. Angela Woodward. I have a business or resident under that name. What is it, 3 a.m. there? Yes, sir. All right, give me the residence. All right, that's 312-555-2768. Okay, thanks. Hello. Hello. Is this Miss Woodward? Angela Woodward, the psychologist? Yeah. What time is it? Who is this? I'm sorry to be calling you so late. I'm calling long distance from Los Angeles. I'm calling about Nicole Lorette. I mean, Landon. Nicole Landon? Oh, is this another reporter? No. I work with her in L.A., and there's been a murder. Oh, no, not again. I thought it was over. What happened at the trial? What happened? Well, she was acquitted. It was sexual harassment. He, he, he raped her. It was self-defense. She needs my help. I must speak to her. Where is she? cared about me. No one's ever cared about me. They just wanted to fuck me. All you ever wanted to do was fuck me.
Susan? Susan? How you feeling? Wonderful. We're just a few days away. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Matt, I need to ask you something. It's not gonna change anything, but I have to know. And I want you to please tell me the truth. I don't care what the answer is. I just need to know the truth. Did you sleep with Nicole? Did you have an affair? No. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, I love you so much. I love you, too. I love you, too. 